Hello, my name is Dr. Frederick B. Covington and I'm an occupational therapist. Today we'll be discussing range of motion. Now range of motion refers to the distance and direction a joint can move to its full potential. Each specific joint has a normal range of motion that is expressed in degrees after being measured with a goniometer. Now a goniometer is an instrument that measures angles from the axis of the joint. Limited range of motion refers to a joint that has a reduction in its ability to move. The reduced motion may be a mechanical problem with a specific joint or it may be caused by injury or disease. Limited range of motion of a particular joint can impair function and the ability to perform usual daily activities. Now occupational therapy can help to improve joint function by focusing on range of motion exercises and therapeutic activities. The goal of these are to gently increase range of motion while decreasing pain, swelling, and stiffness. Now there's three types of range of motions. You have active range of motion where the patient exercises without any assistance. You have active assistant range of motion where the patient requires some help from the therapist. And you have passive range of motion where the therapist or the equipment moves the patient through the range of motion with no effort from the patient. Now, after going through what range of motion is, what we want to do now is give you visual examples of range of motion for the upper extremities or the arms. Now in the following examples, the figure will go through the full range of motion of each specific joint. Also, please note with the illustrations you have the normal range of motion and instructions on how to move the joint. So, without any further ado, I present to you range of motion.
If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send emails or leave your comments here. And as always, we'll be seeing you next time. Take care.